Hey, happy Sunday. Welcome back to the Sunday Serving channel. Words of hope from the gospel, words of truth, salt, hopefully light. Well, it is because it's the words of Jesus. And uh, last week we talked about Ascension Day when Jesus rose to heaven, went back to his Father where he sits at the right side where he will come back and return. And next week we'll be thinking of the power of the Holy Spirit of Pentecost. And I was wondering this week, there's, there's a great story I love that, that Jesus used an example with his disciples when he was sitting in front of the temple. And an interesting thing happened. And I was kind of thinking how this story of the widow, the widow's might, the widow's gesture of generosity, how that ties into the message at Pentecost when the believers were stirred by the Holy Spirit and took action and made big changes in their lives to follow Jesus. And how does that speak to us today? So here, it's actually, uh, the story is found both in the Gospel of Luke and in the Gospel of Mark. So from Luke 21, Jesus was teaching his disciples in front of the temple, and it says he looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the offering box, and he saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. And he said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for they all contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty put in all she had to live on. So, I've, I've, I've read somewhere that back in those days in front of the temple there were 12 big wooden boxes that were used for sacrificial offerings. Some were mandated by law and others were voluntary and apparently this widow came to the box that was voluntary contributions for the temple and it must have been, a, you know, it was right in the front of the entranceway and there were these big copper trumpet um, funnels that you put your coins in and it made a nice sound as it went down to the box and Jesus must have been sitting there with his disciples and all these rich people came and put in their big clanking gold coins and then this widow comes and puts in two small little copper coins that didn't amount to much and of course Jesus point is who gave more the widow obviously because proportionally to her income she gave everything she had and other people give out of their abundance so he was admonishing be more generous um, but but is there is there a deeper meaning so let's first read from uh, from Mark this is the same story Mark 12 it says he sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the offering box many rich people put in large sums and a poor widow came and put in two small copper coins which make a penny so here it even goes more detail those two coins added up to a penny and he called his disciples to him and said truly I say to you this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the offering box for they all contributed out of their abundance but she out of her poverty has put in everything she has all that she has to live on so again she gave everything what is what is Jesus call to us? What was the call at Pentecost? When people were struck to the heart and they said, what shall we do? And the disciples said, repent and be baptized. But the amazing thing is the fruits of that was people were moved to give everything they had, to sell their possessions, to take care of their neighbors so that no one was in need. It said that as they gathered this, great grace and power was given to them and nobody was in need. And I think there's a truth being spoken here by Jesus that if we give everything, and it's more than our possessions, it's more than money, if we give our lives, if we give everything to Christ, that is a call. In return, our lives will be so full of grace and that what we get back from Jesus is so much more than, than what we have to offer. If we give our whole lives to Jesus, we will be taken care of and the other thing it does is that if we're giving our whole life to Jesus, we take care of each other, our neighbors, our friends, our family. And, and that's a vision of God's kingdom, of perfect justice, of love. And that's community, giving everything you have out of love to Jesus, out of love to the Spirit, out of love to each other, so that no one's in need. So I, I thought that was a great connection between a story from the gospel that Jesus used this example of this widow 
and what's recorded in Acts. Let's read that here. Acts 4, after Pentecost, it says, Now the full number of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one said that any of the things they had belonged to him, but they had everything in common. And with great power the apostles were giving their testimony about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Isn't that beautiful? That's the point. Great grace was upon them all, and there was not a needy person among them. For as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them, and brought the proceeds of what was sold, and laid it at the apostles' feet. And it was distributed to each as any had need. So, here's the challenge. Believe in Jesus. Give our entire lives. Give those two pennies. Give our everything to God, to Jesus. The most important thing is our lives, our will, our heart, our mind, our energies. And we will receive grace in return beyond imagination. And that will spread out because that, then that love is amplified in us and we take care of others around us. That's the vision of God's kingdom. So let's, let's try to live it. And God bless you. And take strength, take joy in the gospel. We'll see you next week.